Intro music, intro music, intro music, and hi there! Welcome to the Sexperts. I am your host, Dr. John T. Alanese, SCPM, and I'm Delilah. Hey there, um, hey there, <laughs> hey dare, <laughs> woo, um, jet lag, and I am a hipster movie critic. <laughs> That's right. Well, that was worth the wait. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's, like, everyone's high fiving the moment I say that. Just like Avatar too. Hmm? I didn't see it because I wasn't first. <laughs> All right. Um, I only I only I only review movies that other people haven't seen. Oh, I see. So if I've seen it, you probably as soon as the movie's haven't. popular, I'm not interested. In oh, geez, gee whiz. Well, um, we are the Sexperts. In case you're just tuning in, you have been under a fucking rock. And what? I'm going to debut our new theme song. What is it? Sexperts. Meet the Sexperts. <laughs> We're a Manasaur family. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> From the... I'm mixing two songs. No. What? Really? Which is like mixing two words, sex and experts. I don't know how much you've been drinking, Bring but anyways... Bring it around. Tell, we're at a bar, and tell them where we are. Which bar we're we at. are at a bar inside of a um, casino in Las mm-hmm. Vegas where yep. we are drinking yard long frozen daiquiris. <laughs> they are thirteen dollars a piece, one hundred percent worth it. <laughs> they go down smooth. Yeah. Um, so we're here for a friend's wedding. The uh, Rio. It's a mutual friend. The Rio, I think this is. The Rio. Um, we met this friend on uh, uh, Safari. This is back in ninety two, something like that. Back Kurt when, Cobain was still alive. Yep. Back when we were still shooting animals and yeah. Co- Cobain wasn't shooting himself. <laughs> Which both things are bad. Shooting animals and killing yourself. Two bad things. Anyways, that should be the title of our new podcast, our edgy podcast. Two bad, two things. bad things. Look at us bad things. And we just go year to year. 92, <laughs> 93. We got 2,000 years worth of bad things. <laughs> Maybe more depending on what your theory is on how 2,000 were years of bad things. <laughs> Tune in. We are we are chatting up a storm. We are the, we are chatting up a category four or five hurricane. We're a category five Kathy. That's what we are chatting up. Anyways, we're coming to you live every week with a different topic, different location to talk about the controversial topics that nobody else wants to talk about. And our topic today is something that doesn't get a lot of attention. It's something that Oprah told us not to talk about. Yeah, and it was on her. And Oprah, if you're listening. Turn off your radio. It was on her do not read book list. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you what that do not read is. She, 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 usually she has her O face. This one she had her no, no face. face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the topic of the day is PDF, public display. <laughs> <laughs> she warned us. Oprah tried to warn us. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> public display of fucking. <laughs> <laughs> there, Oprah. We got it out. Oprah. So let me briefly describe this, and we'll get our guest, and I want her uh, take on this topic, this hot topic. Um, PDA, people are, are aware of, that's public display of affection. Yeah, been there, done that. Yeah, PDF is taking it one step too far. It's bringing it home. Public display of fucking. Um, so, okay, now let's get to, hi there, welcome, here's our guest. <laughs> Walk it up now. Well, hello there. Hi. Oh, I detect an accent. Why don't you introduce yourself to our audience out there? Hi, my name's Darlene Huffman. Darlene Huffman, welcome. I'm from Accomack County. Oh, where's uh, that? Um, in the eastern shore of of Virginia. Okay, we're mm-hmm. in Vegas right now. So. I know, but you know, there's only uh, bro. There's only one eastern shore. There's only one eastern and it's, shore. It's it's in Virginia, Maryland, and Delaware. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and what do you do, Miss um, um, Huffman? I'm actually a potato inspector. I have not heard of that. I think I've heard of pretty much everything that's come our way. Wait, but there's a potato. Uh, conference going on at this resort mm-hmm. is that why you're here and that is why oh. i'm here cool yeah we ran to you in the uh, elevator last night i think mm-hmm. we all had uh, way too much to drink um, yeah i've never just ridden an elevator up and down <laughs> like all night long but that was a fun ride was, i know I, it's better than a ferris wheel actually <laughs> <laughs> what word did you just say a ferris wheel one is my, that like a haunted house means a ferris wheel one of my or favorite like, movies yeah, because- is ferris bueller's day off <laughs> You're just so scared. Oh, I'm a feared. I'm a fearless. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's a skeleton? 
<laughs> it's scary. I mean, <laughs> you pee your pants a little bit. You got to wear the depends. Well, that depends. Okay. Um, so your name is Darlene Huffman? Yes. Mm, are you perchance related to Felicity Huffman? Or Philip Seymour Huffman? <laughs> Don't listen you know, to him. The, the former, not the latter. I'd rather not say, actually. I get that. I oh, because she's give it, give been indicted. Yeah, yeah, she's been indicted. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, well, let's not broach that. So talk to me about what you do, I, I suppose, for a living, this potato yeah. inspection thing. I, I, I do the, the potato inspecting. I've been doing it for a really long time. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of the expert in the potato inspecting field. Congrats. Were you the yeah. first ever? Um, no, I'm not quite that yeah, old, but I'm not, that I'm not really interested. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, you can tune out. <laughs> Go play your crap yeah. or whatever. I, I am employee of the month almost every month. Where? At the factory that I inspect potatoes at. Yeah. What's the company called? Um, they are called. Uh, is there a fly? Let me swat this fly away from you and get that. Shoo, fly, shoo. Get Vegas, away from Darlene's Vegas, face. Oh, Vegas, goodness. Vegas flies don't fuck around. <laughs> they you know, have you heard? No, don't that? change subjects. <laughs> What's the name of your fucking company? Name that company. <laughs> These flies are everywhere. Why are they attracted to you? All right, as soon as this fly shoes away, your name. <laughs> you know that story about the bees and that. No, lady's why eye. won't you tell? Uh, why are you hiding the name of the company you work for? Is are you ashamed to be on the Sex Birds podcast? No, Thanks. it's just you know, it's kind of a dumb name. Well, tell us, Potato Inspectors Unlimited. <laughs> Oof. P-I- they were, they P-I-U. P-I-U. That was they almost were, as much they, payoff as my they weren't, job title. <laughs> they just, you know, weren't very creative when they came up with it. But that's like, the, I'm a contractor. What would you have named it if you had your uh, Struthers? Mm. Delilah, what would you have named it? I, if I, I had my Sally Struthers? If, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a potato a, inspection factory. It's a, it's a contractor. It. It's like more, you know, we Ooh, are I got contracted it. I got one. I got one. No, you got one? I got one. Okay, Delilah first. In Sputter Gadget. <laughs> yeah, see, that's that's a lot better. Like, I mean, we have a contract with different factories. Okay, but before you break that news, let's break this news. I have a better one than that. I'm thinking Tupac. I'm thinking all eyes on me. See? Like the eyes of a potato. The eyes of a potato. Well, and you're you looking, see, you're inspecting is the Is it eyes potato. of potato or the eyes? Beware the eyes of the potato. <laughs> that's a good one, too. <laughs> If it has too many eyes, it doesn't pass the inspection, actually. Well, the Mississippi wouldn't uh, get inspected. Mm, mm. M-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. It'd be a great F. <laughs> It'd be a great F potato. Um, any other names we can think of for oh, potato, potato, company? potato company? Potato inspection, <clears throat> particularly. Um, Inspect skins. Oh! I'm kind of hungry now. <laughs> Throw a little sour cream on that. Oh, mm. do you like to eat uh, the potatoes? Listen, I could eat a potato in any form one or for fashion. One for me, one for the market. One for me, one well, for yeah, the Well, yeah, they let us take home the the ones that don't pass the inspection. So, Have, I, you, have I, you ever had a situa- situation like um, Lucy it, did with the candy bars where you're like <laughs> inspecting them and you're eating a couple and then they're just coming too fast and so you're shoving them in your shirt and your friend's there and she's not really good at it either and just it's freaking out. It's hilarious. Um, you know, we have had many situations like that when the mm. conveyor belt kind of kind of breaks and it yeah. just starts going really, really fast. <laughs> and um, yeah. you have to put the potatoes like through a hole and you're like, trying to throw it. And like you got to be like Joe Montana with that. You, shit. you really do, and like um, you know some of the tip- Joe Montana. Some of the potatoes are really really small. And it's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Oh, speaking of throwing a hot dog down the hallway, let's get to our topic of the day, which is P D F public displays of fucking. Did, some people when they're out well, in the open before, or even in the real woods. Quick before we get to yeah. that, yeah, real sure. quick. Do you have to like go to school to be a potato inspector? Are there like yeah. a lot um, of regulations? Like, yeah. do you have to download a big? document on how to do what you're doing yeah you actually have to do um a really long course it's about an eight week course mm. do you have to go to uh, idaho for this course um you know you would think that idaho is the potato capital of the world but no. it's actually not where is it are they Ac- fraudulent Accomack county the, on the eastern shore uh-huh oh i, I would not we kind of marva peninsula we, we keep it kind of <laughs> under under wraps yeah, but yeah, we we uh, export potatoes to Canada. Okay, so that begs the question: What's the gain from quietly being the potato capital while giving all, like, letting Idaho claim to be it? We're like yeah. the quiet professionals. You just make money. 
That's kind of like um, you know the furniture cap furniture capital of the world. You know where yeah. that is? Yeah. Where? North Carolina. Yeah, High Point. High, high Point, yeah, North high Carolina. Point. It used to be Chicago and High I... Point. They were like warring at one point, and fucking High Point just like pap pap pap, just like Tupac and Biggie. <laughs> you know, everything's a fucking Tupac and Biggie war. Yeah, you really. <laughs> on a roll that today um yeah i have some cousins down in North now let me welcome everybody to the wild wild west a state that's untouchable like ellie S. I, I got go on for days i got an idea yeah you know there's mr potato head yeah what if we what if we created tupac potato head and <laughs> biggie potato head <laughs> i think biggie would fit because he was like a large man there's different sized potatoes bro there's like mm. um, that's true that's a big part of my job actually what is that tell, tell us um so uh in order for the potato to be a grade A potato mm-hmm. and for it to get bagged up and sent to Canada. Yeah. Um, we send them our grade A's? We need to send them our grade yeah. B's. We send them the, they, they pay for this. They're socialists yeah. as shit. So um, it's a redistribution of potatoes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, Carl, Carl Marx warned us about that. But you have to, so you have a board mm-hmm. and it's got holes in it. In the in the potato, you have to like put the potato on the hole, and if it goes through the hole, it's too small. Is wow. that all your job is? Because that sounds like something like a preschooler. <laughs> I, I was going to say that's like no, they have that no, at the no, playground. No. You, you have to be very qualified to do this okay. job. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of paperwork you would not believe. All right, so we're actually going to do uh, a segment, uh, a segment of my imagination. Can you play us in? Segment, segment. Segment of his imagination. That's a segment, girl. All right. So we're going to play a little game. Oh, and I usually right. like to pit our guest against Delilah. Because usually Delilah is a novice at this stuff. Mm-hmm. He may do a little bit of background work, but he's not an expert like you are. So we're going to grade some potatoes. So you All have right. never... And, and tell our audience, you have never seen these potatoes before, have I've you? I've never seen these Delilah, potatoes have you ever seen life. these potatoes before? This is my first exposure to these potatoes. All right, good. So everyone's on board. Mm-hmm. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to look at this potato, and you just have like two seconds just to eyeball it. You can touch it if you want, taste it, whatever you want to do with this fucking potato. All right, but promise me as soon as this is done, we'll get yeah. to the topic, because I've got a lot I want to talk about. Can, oh, yeah, PDF. Wait, yeah, I, yeah. I do got a question. Yeah. Can I put the potato in between my knees <laughs> to test it? You it's, know, it's a very important. We're not going to tell you how to do your job. It's a very important. Um, test let's ask the judges. Judges, I'm looking at the judges. Oh, I'm the judge. So yeah, that'll do. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, <laughs> cool. Cool. Man, you said that like Tupac. All right, so uh, you're going to you inspire me. Inspect the potato, and you're going to do two things: give it a grade, A through F, and also tell me what celebrity it looks or tastes like. Okay, so let's bring out. Potato number one, and I'll give this one to our guest first because she is our guest here. So go ahead and grade this potato. Describe it for us too. Um, all there's right, a, there's this, no video. This, this potato's pretty damn big. I, uh-huh. Um, it's got like a lot of wrinkles, almost mm-hmm. like yeah. very wrinkly. It's very kinda, wrinkly. It's kind of lumpy, and then wrinkly and lumpy. Yep, yep. There's yep. like two specific eyes. It's definitely looking like a face. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. I give it an A. You you, you give it an A. Do you want to do you want to put it between your knees? I, Is it helpful? I don't even need to do that with this okay. one because I can tell like just it's so voluptuous. So great, great A. And, and uh, um, what celebrity? It looks like Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> okay, let's in, give it in Pulp Fiction specifically. All right, let's okay, give it. I'm going to add another to our line of um, hip hop, Mr. Potato Heads. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson, potato head. Okay, well, it looks like you both... And he oh. has to carry a weapon with him. What? The potato? It's Samuel a... L. Jackson, potato. Oh. <laughs> do you agree, Delilah, or do you want to add, or... Uh, I don't get my own potato. Oh, okay. Well, she wins that round, and that's correct. So it's a grade A, and it's a Samuel L. Jackson. Now let me give uh, Delilah his potato. There you go. Take a look at that. Oh, he's yeah. closing his eyes. That's, that's you got to be one with the potato. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's small, which is good because it fits in my hand. <laughs> more than more than a handful is a waste. So my mama always told me. It's wow, your mama. It's not. It's like I got a meter. It's it's got a waxy density to she's it. She's actually mm. single. Is she really? Mm-hmm. Is she a Huffman? I mean, she's been widowed for you know a while. I'm about to be widowed. My wife's <laughs> in an iron long. That's what I heard. Um. So what do you feel there? Okay, I feel. Like a grade C Yukon mm-hmm. gold. Okay. Shh, don't and I think it reminds mm-hmm. me of the the female background singer for the Lumineers. 
<laughs> Why? Because it's waxy? What is it? It's chipper, <laughs> and I want to spend more time with it. Wow, man. I wish I, could, I have a crush on it. I wish I could give you half points. You got who it is. It actually is the background singer for Lumineers, but we need a name. Do you know her name? Uh, Natalie Merchant. <laughs> no, absolutely not. And also, you have the, the wrong grade. That's, that's another grade A. It's actually the yeah, waxiness is good. Actually, you know, it's not a Yukon Gold. Oh, oh, I had it written down wrong. What is it? It's actually an Accomack County <laughs> Golden Sunshine Potato. <laughs> so you, you got it a lot wrong. Those I'm not, are very related genetically. No points awarded. Mm-hmm. I'll give you a bell, though. All right, and let's give you your potato, Miss Hoffman. Go, for, go ahead. Mm. Oh, you're going straight to the knees on this one. Straight to the knees. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just need a, I need a minute alone with this potato. All right, we'll be right back. Judges? <laughs> uh, well, uh, speaking of... Oh, while she does that, let's talk... Uh, let's me and you, Delilah. Let's talk about our talk of the day. Okay. Which oh, is wait. PDF. I got an idea here. Oh, okay. I'm thinking this potato is a grade B. Okay, and why? It's just slightly, like, smaller than you'd expect <laughs> so i like how your inspection goes with expectations not like on <laughs> like a chart this or potato let me down <laughs> it, it really did don't let me down so uh don't let me down it really let me down nobody kinda ever like, really kind of like when you i went to go see like that movie la la land and you know i really had these high expectations <laughs> about it and it just you know Oh, you're on the right track. Okay, so, but, but listen who's a to celebrity? This. Listen to this. La La Land, but stop motion with potato characters. <laughs> Are you on something? We're so still in the say, segment. Like, this, this potato reminds me of Ryan Gosling in La La Land. Oh, you got it. Close. You get a Ryan bon- Gosling in the notebook. Oh, it isn't. Well, because uh, because yeah. you know you see him in all these other movies, and mm-hmm. he's got the washboard abs mm-hmm. and everything. Yep. Um, and you're just like you, the man. I'm just gonna go home so wet from this movie. <laughs> <laughs> and then you see the movie, and you're like, this fucking sucks. Oh, speaking of movies, I only went home wet from one movie. What was it? Perfect Storm. <laughs> It was in 4D <laughs> at Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. I was the first one to see it. <laughs> All right. Well, you. Uh, I went so, home with seasickness, actually. It's <laughs> two points to nil. And uh, Delilah, here you go. Here's your tater. All right. Now, this is a trick. So, this is th- this is actually cooked. Yep. In tater tot and, form. And mashed. <laughs> <laughs> mashed up tater tots. So, go ahead and score that one. Okay. Well. I'm gonna. Do you want me to tell you what it is now or what it was? <laughs> oh, tell us. Are you the the potato or whisperer? What it will be? <laughs> <laughs> Who was that potato in its past life? Yeah, right, let's talk about it. Where it, it's, it's roots. I got no. It, roots, it is a root. But my home. All right. This this is a new red potato. It is from New Jersey. Wow. And shh, don't tell. Shh. It was um, grown <clears throat> last summer, mm-hmm. and it reminds me mm-hmm. of Daniel DeVito. Ooh. Mm. Wow. I really thought he was going to say Daniel Tiger for a minute. <laughs> well, that would be incorrect as well. Um, you were so close. You got where it came from. Wait, what grade would you give it? Oh, all new red potatoes get an A minus. That's right. You you did you did sir, Wikipedia, sir. Yeah. Oh my. But goodness. you were so close. Had you said Daniel Day Lewis from Gangs in New York, you would have been correct. So mm. no points, or half a point awarded. I, I sensed the Daniel. Yeah. It was, so it's you know because it's a method potato. Anyways, I was, um, I'll makes sense. Drink makes your sense because of the the red skin. <laughs> Wait. What? Anyways, let's get to our topic of the day. I don't know where. The- here's my here's my Daniel Day Lewis, um, <laughs> Mr. Potato Head uh, impression. Okay. I eat your mashed potatoes. <laughs> I eat them up. It sounds like Mr. Miyagi. All right. <laughs> hey, that's not I true. I thought it sounded like the Terminator. You got your accent back. <laughs> <laughs> we rediscovered our accent. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the it end of the segment. It comes and goes like. Um, hey, Vegas has that effect on me. I know. And like, we've been drinking for a while now. <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, including my accent. Like, when I got home, it was gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so you definitely win. So congrats. Do- oh, I thank you. Do I get a prize? Darlene, hoping you do get a prize. 
You get a drink on me. Waitress, come on over here. Give this girl <gasps> a drink. Give this girl what you want, girl. Can, uh, is she can gambling? I get something is with she a, gambling? <laughs> some, <laughs> <laughs> some potato vodka. <laughs> potato vodka. Is that a real thing? I think so. I think all vodka is potato vodka. All vodka is potato vodka. You learn something new every day. It's oh, a, It's what? basically a vegetable, right? Well... <laughs> that's true i guess even tequila is made out of the agave plant um speaking let's of agave salad then speaking of salad and tossing <laughs> salad let's talk about a uh, pdf public displays of fucking oh but wait a mm. minute oh god what they've caught on to you darlene oh shit what we didn't mention is darlene has a little bit of a gambling habit and she's a cheater she likes to cheat at Oh, you don't, just, you don't just count potatoes, you count cards. Yeah, sorry. Ugh. The pit boss is over here staring us down. Well, We're going to have be. to go. She's, oh God, oh God. <laughs> He's dragging you to the back. <laughs> okay, I, I tell Darlene. You, I, lose the accent, they'll never know it's you. <laughs> Darlene, do you have any last words in case they like beat you to death? Uh, wash your potatoes before you eat them. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to try to go help out Darlene. Sorry we didn't get to the topic of the day, but, you know, them's them's the rules. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, so that's it for this experts. I am your host, Dr. John T. Alanis, SCPM. I'm Delilah Hayder, former hipster movie critic, now proprietor of a line of hip hop Mr. Potato Heads. <laughs> See you sex time. Snoop Doggy Potato Head. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> they got her. Not have to do it simply true with the sex experts. That's our show. If you like what you heard and you think it was worth a dollar, join the official Sexperts fan club at patreon.com backslash sexperts podcast. A special thanks to the Push Comedy Theater and all of our supporters. Bye-bye.